<laughs> That's the colonial apparatus. Listen, there are two regimes that follow the example of Indian policies of the United States of America. That's Nazism. Back in the 1920s, Adolf Hitler wrote that the United States of America has the perfect solution on how to deal with the unwanted races. And that's to create the concentration camps. He called them labor camps. It's like the reservation system of America. Consequently, the uh, genocide against gypsies, and Jewish people, and homosexuals at all happened during World War II. That country is no longer in existence because of that policy. And then there was apartheid in South Africa. There's the West Bank in Israel. Carbon copies of the reservation system. Now, the apartheid system is gone, but you still have apartheid in, South, in, in America. And yet no one focuses on that. And because America backs the apartheid system in the West Bank, that place is tied up. So consequently, what we are saying and what the American people are sympathetic to as well as my own is the fact that legally and lawfully, I'm going to keep hammering that home, is that we are free and independent. Okay. And we have the general support not only of the American people and my own people, but also worldwide. And I want to say this, in the history of patriarchy, never has an empire been defeated from without. It's always fomented its own destruction from within. Russell, we had, a, we had an Republic email. Republic of Lakota. Well, sir, you know, we had an email that came in from New Zealand.